Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about the Windsor Framework. Now the UK government and the European Union have negotiated the Windsor Framework which will replace the Northern Ireland Protocol. Now what is Northern Ireland Protocol? After UK left the European Union, the Northern Ireland remained its only constituent that shared a land border with an European Union member, the Republic of Ireland. Since the European Union and the United Kingdom have different project standards, border checks would be necessary before goods could move from Northern Ireland to Ireland. However, the two Irelands have had a long history of conflict with a hard-fought peace secured only in 1998 under the Belfast Agreement, also called the Good Friday Agreement. Changing with the border rules was thus considered too dangerous and it was decided the checks would be conducted between Great Britain, that is England, Scotland and Wales, and Northern Ireland, which together with Great Britain forms the United Kingdom. And this was called the Northern Ireland Protocol. Now, there were certain problems with the Northern Ireland Protocol. Under this protocol, the Northern Ireland remained in the European Union single market and trade and customs inspections of goods coming from Great Britain took place at its ports along with the Irish Sea. The checks made the trade between Great Britain and the Northern Ireland cumbersome, with food products especially losing out on shelf life while they waited for clearance. Some taxation and spending policies of the UK government could not be implemented in the Northern Ireland because of the European Union rules. The sale of medicines too was caught between different British and European Union rules. Also, any kind of border in the Irish Sea urged those who want a united United Kingdom. Now about the Windsor Framework. The Windsor Framework is a proposed post-Brexit legal agreement between the European Union and the United Kingdom, which was announced on 27th of February 2023. It is designed to address the problem of the movement of goods between the European single market and the United Kingdom in the current Northern Ireland Protocol. The agreement was was named after the meeting of the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and the President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen at the Windsor Great Park in Berkshire, England. Now about the green and red lane system. The framework introduced green lane and red lane system for goods that will stay in Northern Ireland and those that will go to the European Union respectively. The British goods meant for Northern Ireland will use the green lane at the ports and will be allowed to pass with the minimal paperwork and checks. The physical checks will be conducted if the goods are deemed suspicious in place of the routine checks. The goods destined for the Ireland or the rest of the European Union will have to take the red lane with the attendant customs and other checks. Now, what is Stormont Break? The framework introduces a mechanism called the Stormont Break. This would allow the democratically elected Northern Ireland Assembly to oppose new European Union goods rules that would have significant and lasting effects on everyday lives in the Northern Ireland. For this, they will need the support of 30 members from at least two parties. The British government can then veto the law. This mechanism is named after the Stormont Estate, which is the site of the Northern Ireland's Parliament buildings, which is the seat of the Northern Ireland Assembly. Now, that was a little bit about the topic. Let's take a practice question. Consider the following statements about the Windsor framework negotiated between the UK government and the European Union. Statement 1. The British goods meant for the Northern Ireland will use the green lane at the ports and will be allowed to pass with the minimal paperwork and checks. Statement 2. The goods destined for the Ireland or the rest of the European Union will have to take the red lane with the attendant customs and other checks. Now, which of the statements given above is or are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now, the correct answer is C, that is, both statement 1 and 2 are correct. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website. And for more such videos, stay tuned to Next IS YouTube channel.